Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm coming with you with card number two from the Snowflake Showcase Workshop. If you ordered the stamp set from me and stuff, um, then you got uh, a free card kit and the card kit was enough to make four of the cards that I'm showing you and there was four different designs and this is design number two. I've got two here because this is the third time I've had to record this video. <laughs> um, the first time I did it, uh, my camera died. And so I'm redoing it again. So somebody will be getting these cards in the mail for me for Christmas. <laughs> so anyways, you get your kit and you'll get enough stuff in your kit to make two cards. And I have mine just loosely, but when you get yours, all your embellishments will be in one little bag that'll say embellishments for all the cards. So um, you'll have that. And then um, this is pre-embossed. It's embossed with the snow falling embossing folder. I don't know if you could tell in the video. Um, now, because this wasn't part of the requirements to order, if you didn't order this, I embossed this for you. So when you get this, this will already be pre-embossed. And then you will get a piece of the silver paper. And you will also get some uh, bombing blue paper for your card. And then this is the base. And then we have some more blooming blue. And then we also have this awesome velvet, I mean wonderful velvet paper that um, you will get enough to do, you know, your cards. This is so soft. It is absolutely gorgeous. So you'll have enough supplies to do two cards. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take your piece that I've already dry embossed um, on it with the snowflakes and the stamp set that I picked out from this is uh, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season I'm using black memento ink I love black memento ink um, I do a lot of blending and you need this color for blend but you can use whatever black ink that you have and then I'm going to stamp this right down here on the bottom of this card. I'm just going to give it a nice little press. Okay, so it's just like that. And then I'm going to set that aside. And while this is sitting aside, I'm going to bring in the big shot. Because we're going to do some die cutting in your in your dies that you have, you're going to need the two biggest dies. You need the great big one that looks like this. And then you're also going to need the next one down. I have. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the balming blue piece and we're going to put this on here. You only need two of these, and I gave you a big enough piece so you can get a couple extra. So you have enough stuff to do um, extra cards. Now I have a magnetic platform. You don't need that. If you have a regular platform, that works great too. And um, so I have the magnetic platform. I have the one cutting plate, the paper, the die, and then the other cutting plate. And I'm just going to cut this through. And there we go. Take this up. This magnetic plate really holds it on there. And now because this is some very fuzzy, soft paper, and you'll have extra to cut out some more smaller ones, you know, fill it up, cut them out. I'm going to run this through like a couple times so that way I know that it cut it out. Anything that's a, other than our normal cardstock, like a specialty paper or like the glitter paper or anything like that, I like to run it through a couple times just to make sure um, that it's going to cut it out. I mean, it will cut it out, but, you know, it's a different paper. It's a thicker paper. It's, um, so I just want to make sure I'm cutting it out. Okay. 
Alrighty. Now we're going to bring in the base of the card. And again, this piece is um, 11 inches by four and a quarter, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. Okay. And now we're going to start putting the card together. Now, if I were you, and I did this on one of my cards, but I'm not doing it right now, I would stick as many little ones of those snowflakes or medium-sized snowflakes in there and cut out a bunch of these before I put this piece together. No one's going to see this unless they take your card apart. And I don't think they're going to take your card apart. So I would cut out as many snowflakes with this with just leaving the tiny, because all you're going to have is this little bit of a brim showing. So you can get quite a little bit out of it. So that's just a tip to conserve and save, save paper. And I've done something, put it underneath my cards. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the Blooming Blue paper. Sorry if there's a glare from off from this. I'll get it covered up and then it'll go away. <laughs> and then we'll put this on here. And then we're going to take the Whisper White piece that we stamped. And we're going to put that on top of here. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to put um, down a little piece of snail right there in the center and then you got this like really thin silver um, thread is what they call it and you have two making noise let me grab the spool you're gonna get like two yards of this you will get plenty of this um, string and you're gonna take it and you're gonna put one end right on there and I just let the string kinda do its own looping wherever it wants to and I did some fairly bigger loops in the beginning Oops, in the first one because I am putting down the snowflake on top of this and it doesn't have to be fancy there's no right or wrong I did about four loops kind of like this and then I'm going to cut it off right there and then I went ahead and I added more snail. You can use glue dots. You can use whatever you want. And I put that down over top of it. It just adds. I mean, I don't know if it's going to show really good in the card. but And it's not picking up the camera. But it just adds that little bit of something behind the card. And it's really nice. And I really like it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a glue dot. Now these are just some that I have left over from when I do the paper pumpkin. So I like to use them up when I'm doing videos and stuff. But um, you can use the roll, which works really good. And I'm going to take one of the glue dots. I'm going to put it right in the middle because this is velvet here. So it would be harder for it to stick. So I want to put a piece of velvet there. And then you're just going to take another piece of this and we're going to attach it and just keep oh, I got my finger twisted in there oh here let's not hold the roll that'll be better and just keep making loops um, how, make them a little smaller than you did the first time sometimes I find it easier if you just turn the card but I kind of let the the string do the work if that makes sense. And trying to keep my hand out of the way too so you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay. And I did four little loops. That one did not want to. Okay, where do you want to go? There you go, buddy. Like I said. And I did like four loops on this one too. Just made them a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to cut a piece. And then I'm going to take another glue dot. 
and I'm going to put it over top of the one that's already there so that my uh, snowflake will have some. Now I forgot to poke out my little my little things here. I love this little all-in-one tool. It's only ten dollars and it is so cool. It's got a little picker-upper thing on one end right here and then it's got like this pokey thing and it's got a spatula and then it comes with another part I have it over there it's another part like a scorer that's what it is for scoring stuff so I'm like that's pretty cool and then I stuck this kind of off centering it right in the center and then I went ahead and you get these little charms you're gonna get a couple of them in your thing and I went ahead and I used them glue dots again and I'm going to use another one. And this time I put one right on top of here. Peeled this piece off. Kind of rolled it in a little bit. Like so. So that you didn't see it. There we go. And I picked it up. And I'm going to put it right over top of that other one. Nothing ain't going nowhere. And it's not a heavy uh, snowflake. It's a button or anything like that. It's not real heavy. It's light. So this will not be bad for mailing this in the mail. And then just going to go ahead and add your adhesive or use liquid glue or whatever you want to use. I like the snail. It's quick. And then just line this up and then put it on your card and there is your other card and you these are white inside so then you can just stamp you could also stamp some more snowflakes if you want to carry the design keep it going inside as they say and these are um the cards so this you'll get enough supplies to make two of these and this is card number two thanks for stopping by everybody Bye bye